So you've got this big show coming on ESPN, and in case anyone thinks it's not an actual intimate look at your life that you weren't real, it opens with you in bed. That is how the documentary it does. opens. <laughs> it does. You are really honest in this documentary. Your family members are honest. You talk about being a kid and being in the room watching your mom shoot up drugs. When I was young, I think I understood that I'm going through this for this reason. Right, so when my mom, being a young kid, eight years old, you know, in the room watching your mom, uh, she put needles in her arm, and try to have conversations with your mother, and you know, she's like fading out. You know, that was tough for an eight-year-old kid to try to make sense of. But I made sense of it and said, nothing would be harder than this. Zaya, how are you? Eight. All right. I'm 20. And I'm 28. Next time we look at it, we're gonna look at this years and years from He's now. Gonna I'm gonna be, be old. Fear. I'm gonna be like 38. There is some great stuff in this documentary about you being a father, being a first-time father, in college, being scared. Yeah. You talk about how you thought your life was over. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a wrap. <laughs> I love Zaire, um, <laughs> but you know, it, it was scary for me. And only thing I know is what people tell me. Right? You know, you're young, you have a kid, you gotta drop out of school, you gotta get a job. I gotta be the man of the family. Um, but, you know, little did I know, my college coach, Marquette University, my family, they will all get behind me and support me. It's been amazing to watch you evolve being a father over all these years. And you had another step this past week. Your 12 year old came out and identified as Zaya. What's the point of being on this earth if you're going to try to be someone you're not? You know, I feel that Zaya is at the point now where, you know, Zaya deserves to, to walk around and be Zaya mm -hmm. and not have to hide behind, um, you know, a Zion, the Zion character that people believe that she should be. Mm -hmm. She's not that. You know, she is this amazing, amazing young lady who I learn something from every day and that I'm proud to be, you know, her father. Gobbled up by Dwayne Wade. Here he comes with LeBron. Oh my There's also, of course, plenty about basketball in this documentary. You guys do focus on that time in 2010 when you, LeBron, Chris Bosh, free agents and decided yeah, you yeah. to come back to the Heat. Yeah. And there's a great part where you're talking about how you made this decision in a phone call on July 4th. You, Chris, and LeBron. Yeah. The decision wasn't until July 8th. And in those four days, you suddenly weren't really talking to LeBron. You didn't hear from him. Yeah. Did you really think going into that telecast that maybe he was going to say something else? Listen, I tell no lies in my documentary. <laughs> he did. You know, he kind of went to his his cave and went radio silent and kind of had to deal with his own process. But, you know, we were a little nervous on the other side. He's like, wait, are we still in this? The answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, it's, it's very tough. Um, and this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach. So the actual footage that you will see in the documentary was real life footage of my excitement, my initial reaction of like, we got this, but I didn't know. You're also very honest in the documentary about when you left the heat and you said to this day, Look, Pat Riley and I have men defenses, but I don't think he did the right thing there. No, I, would, I would never believe Pat did the right thing when it came to me. And once again, everything happens for a reason. So glad I got an opportunity to play for my hometown team. But, you know, do I feel the way that it was handled um, would be something that I would never forget? Of course. But I learned from it. I, I've grown from it. I've moved on from it. And, um, and we all are hopefully better for it. And you and the Heat reunited. You had that amazing last yeah. season. And now they are going to retire your jersey. Now most guys have a jersey retirement ceremony, and it's a day. It's like ten minutes on the court. Well, we you got your For own you, county. For you, Dwayne Wade. When you got your own county, <laughs> you can do different things. For you, Dwayne Wade, they are doing a three-day jersey retirement. Yeah, that's about right. Sound right? <laughs> three days for number three. Three rings. I mean, it all it all goes. So. What, do you, what do you think it's going to feel like to be standing on that court and see your number go on the rafters? You know what, it's, uh, it's going to be a special day for me and I, I try not to get emotional a lot. Maybe a little bit in my documentary you'll see some emotion, but uh, I definitely know I'm going to be emotional um, because every, every moment from your career is going to come back, you know, fast you know, into your mind. And for me, just a kid with a dream, man. I had a dream of playing a game of basketball and now I can walk away and say, high school, Jersey retirement.
college, jersey retired. NBA, jersey retired. You know what, kid? You did all right. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.